I got up this morning and tried to record this video before most of my family got up out of bed. It turns out I didn't beat the littlest one and he got up on the wrong side of bed. We've been talking about joy lately here in our capsule sermons. He did not wake up in a very joyful mood. <laughs> I can tell you that much. Howdy folks, my name's Reagan. Thank you so much for uh, coming and hanging out with me this morning, today. When are you watching this? Uh, we've been talking about joy. We've been reading through the book of Philippians and Philippians talks about joy a quite a few times. I don't remember the exact number. It's a lot, all right? We've been going through each instance of the time that the Apostle Paul writes joy. We ought to be joyful. We ought to be rejoicing in this. Let's go to chapter 2, and I want to read to you verses 27 and down through 30. i got a goat, a dog that's investigating a goat. Mornings are so chaotic. All right, 27 through 30, chapter 2. Uh, we're talking about a guy, Paul's writing about a man named Epaphroditus, okay? Epaphroditus had been ill. Let's read, uh, let's read the scripture. For indeed he was sick, almost unto death, but God had mercy on him, and not only on him, but on me also, lest I should have sorrow upon sorrow. Epaphroditus was important to Paul. Therefore I sent him the more eagerly, that when you see him again you may rejoice, and I may be less sorrowful. Receive him therefore in the Lord with all gladness, and hold such men in esteem. Because for the work of Christ he came close to death, not regarding his life, to supply what was lacking in your service toward me. Paul is sending Epaphroditus. Epaphroditus has been laboring with Paul. He got ill, or fell ill, and uh, almost died. And this is all working for the kingdom of God, right? So Paul sends him back to the church at Philippi. Hey, rejoice in the fact that Epaphroditus is coming back to you. If you are a believer in Jesus, you ought to be incredibly joyful for men like Epaphroditus, for men like the Apostle Paul, for uh, women in the early church who all labored to bring the gospel forward. And every individual, whether they're a man, whether they're a woman, who over the past 2,000 years has carried the gospel of Jesus Christ from person to person and passed that on, is the whole reason that why you are here watching this video uh, with me uh, 2,000 years later after the, uh, after the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. We ought to be so thankful. We ought to rejoice in the fact that people have labored for the love of God over and over and over, time and time again, and that that love has, has crossed oceans, it has crossed uh, racial divides, it has crossed uh, whatever boundary that may have been set up, that men may have put up uh, between each other, or natural boundaries, whatever the case is. The love of God, the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ, his life, his death, his resurrection, has passed from person to person to person over and over and over, time and time again, to get you and I here together in this moment in time, and we can continue to share that love, to share the good news with people that we encounter day to day. I am incredibly thankful. I'm thankful for Epaphroditus, for Paul, for Timothy, for uh, uh, Aquila and Priscilla. I mean, everybody you read about in the Bible who has sent the gospel forward, and I hope that you have a wonderful day today. Tell somebody about Jesus. My name is Reagan. Thanks so much for being here. We'll see you all soon.